y'all, it's Stacy. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today's lesson is about taking a whole chicken and breaking it down into pieces. Now, I know that sounds a little intimidating, but trust me, it's something that you can handle with the right tools and a little effort. If you're a big fan of fried chicken, then chances are you're gonna wanna know how to do this. And I say that for several different reasons. First of all, if you've gone to the grocery store lately and tried to buy pieces of chicken, they're all huge. And if you're gonna fry that chicken so many times, the outside gets burnt before the inside gets cooked all the way through. So I always suggest that when you're frying chicken that you buy a whole chicken and cut it up yourself. That way you'll have more uniform pieces that aren't so large. And while it's an intimidating task, it is absolutely something that you're capable of doing. Let me show you how easy it is to break up a chicken. We're gonna start by removing the leg and the thigh in one piece. Now you're gonna need a couple things to be able to do this. Obviously we need a chicken. I've taken my chicken and I've patted it dry. That's super important. It's gonna make it so much easier to handle than not be slippery and just moving all over the place. I've got a really sharp chef's knife here. Now, while this is not required, it's also great to have some kitchen shears. I'm doing this on a plastic board. Now, because we're dealing with raw chicken and we wanna be able to sterilize this, it's much easier to sterilize plastic than it is wood or some other thing. I've also got this, um, I've taken a damp paper towel and put it under my cutting board just to kind of stabilize it a little bit. Now we're gonna start by removing the leg and the thigh in one piece. To do that, we're gonna take our knife we're gonna turn the chicken just a little bit just to make this process a little bit easier. And we're gonna start cutting away at the skin between the leg and the body. We're just gonna cut away and you'll eventually see as that skin cuts, you'll see the difference between where the thigh and the breast meet together. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we need to identify the joint between the thigh and the main part of the body. And to do that, we're just gonna kind of pull away and you can eventually see as I'm twisting this, you can see this bone pop out right here. That shows us where we're gonna cut because we're gonna cut in between the joint and try our best not to cut the actual bone. So once we've identified that joint, we're gonna take our knife, place it right between those bones and cut right through. And we have the drumstick or the leg and the thigh here in one piece. Let's do the other side. So we're gonna cut that skin away and just trim down. And using that same method where we kind of pull the thigh away, we're gonna see that bone pop right there. I'm gonna lay that back down and I'm gonna use my knife kind of following the same angle of the body to cut right between the, that joint. All right, next we're gonna remove the wings. And you might find it easier just to kind of pull the bird up on the side like this. This is the same thing where you're gonna look for that joint, maybe pulling it away just a little bit. When you find that joint, just put your knife right in there, find the spot, and then you can kind of lay it flat so that you can cut through it, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I can feel that joint right there where my thumb is. So I'm gonna place my knife kind of in that spot so that I can then hold the bird. And you can see as I cut through this, I'm gonna pull that away. There's our wing right there. Now we wanna remove the breast. Now, when a lot of people say chicken breast, they are talking about a breast half. This is a whole chicken breast. Another advantage to breaking down a whole chicken like this is you'll have leftover parts like the back to make a great stock. It works great for chicken or turkey. And so what we're gonna wanna do is remove the breast from the back to be able to do that. Now you can do this with a knife, but I find that a great pair of poultry shears is also really handy. What we're gonna do is, if you look here on the side, you can kind of see the fat line that runs between the breast and the rest of the body. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my shears to kind of follow that fat line right up through here. Sometimes you just have to get in here and find the spots between the bones to cut because you don't really wanna cut bone if you can help that. So we got that side removed. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing over here, finding that fat line again, which you can see right there. And then we're just gonna cut right through. 
All right, so we can take this back, we can throw it in the freezer, and when we get ready to make some stock, that's a great place to start. Now, what we're gonna wanna do too is to split the breast into two breast halves. Now, this is the part that takes a little effort, um, but really it's as simple as taking your knife and kind of scoring through the bone and cartilage right down the middle right here, just like this. Again, there's not a glamorous way to do this. And then once I've got through the bone, what I like to do is to flip this over and kind of spread this chicken skin out because like if we're making fried chicken, having that skin on there adds tons of flavor and great crunch. So flipping it over and spreading it means we're gonna have kind of equal amounts of skin on both sides. Then I'm just gonna take my knife and just run right through here. All right, so let's break down the thigh and the leg. Same thing, it's about finding that joint. And you can see here, we have a fat line here, just like we did when we were removing the breast from the body. That's gonna give us an indication of where that line is. So we can kind of take and pull that just a little bit to find where that spot is. We're gonna find where that joint is and just slice right through. Again, we're gonna find that joint. There's the fat line right there. You can slice right through. You know, if you have tons of resistance, chances are you're hitting the bone and not the joint. So you may have to cut a little and kind of look in there and kind of see where things are so that you make sure that you're cutting the right spot. Now, if we want to remove the drumette from the flat, all you need to do is the same thing. Kind of feel with your fingers where that joint is and just slice right through. And in many cases, especially if you're frying, you wanna remove that wing tip too. You can actually just cut that same joint right there and you've got the flat and the drumstick or the drumette. I'm gonna do that one more time. Find that joint. I can feel it with my thumb right there. We slice right through. Same thing here. Find that joint, slice that. and you're done. You just broke down an entire chicken into individual pieces. And despite the fact that it's not the most pleasant thing, it's a great accomplishment because you just did this. Not only did you save money by buying a whole chicken and breaking it down, but when you're making fried chicken, for example, you're gonna end up with a much better end product starting this way. <laughs>